Hello friends, in the last lesson we learned about distance time and speed time graphs. In this lesson we will take a speed distance graph. A car race is happening. Here is a speed distance graph of a racing car from start of second lap to start of third lap. Instead of speed time we have plotted speed distance that is what is the speed of the race car at each kilometer of the racetrack. So here speed is on the y-axis in kilometer per hour and distance is on x-axis in kilometer. What does this graph say about the shape of the racing track? Can we draw the shape of the racing track from this speed distance graph? Let's look at it. As it is the second lap, the car is already in motion. So graph started from 160 km per hour and not from zero. Wait, the car slowed down just after 200 meters, that is 0.2 km from the starting of the new lap means it has to be a turn. So it slowed down and again accelerates. From 0.6 km onwards to around 1.1 km, graph is steady, means the car is moving at top speed. It has to be a straight track there, then again a turn, but this time speed fell more than the previous turn means the turn is sharper then it again accelerates then again a straight track because the car regained its top speed and maintained it for quite a while so a longer straight track then again a turn but this time drop in speed is lesser compared to previous time means it's a wide turn not very sharp so we have three turns. Second turn is the sharpest and the last turn before end of lap is widest. So the track should be triangular. How can I say that? Look, three straight parts of the track where car can gain top speed and three turns. The ending of a given lap and starting of the next lap is on the same straight part of the track that's why car ends on a lap with top speed and enter the next lap with top speed because it is moving on a straight path. So this is how the track will look like. The car started the lap with top speed as it was moving in a straight path, then a turn, slows down, then a long straight path, then again a turn, but sharper than the previous turn. This is the second turn, then a straight path, then a wide turn, then again a straight path enters the next lap at the top speed. So a graph can tell us the full story here. As a graph can represent the object's motion very efficiently. Keep practicing. Bye-bye.